What can you expect tomorrow morning as you're driving into work? The roads will be dry. 7 a.m., 71 degrees, more dry roads, more sunshine, and a mix of some clouds by 8 a.m., 74 degrees, and by 9 a.m., again, the roads are still dry. 76 degrees, looks like no need to worry about weather slowing things down as you're driving into work again for Thursday morning. So mid 70s at 8 a.m., by noon, 86 degrees and warm, and then tomorrow afternoon, 89 degrees and a 20% chance of an isolated thunderstorm or two across the state tomorrow. Still high temperatures for this time of the year. Fairly comfortable. 87 in Stillwater, 87 in Ponca City, 87 in Seminole, 89 degrees in Oklahoma City. And look at these temperatures for tomorrow and really just soak them in. Uh, enjoy them because we know as we go into the month of July, which is really coming in here next week, we know numbers like these, yeah, it's going to be a little while before they start to make a comeback. So, again, enjoy the 80s while they last. As we look at Predictor tomorrow afternoon, 4 o'clock, scattered thunderstorms from Enid towards around Watonga and Kingfisher here, west of the metro. We'll see more scattered thunder showers popping up right around Stillwater, Pawnee, east of Ponca City here by 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And as we look at the chance for rain tomorrow, about a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain. So, again, we all have a chance for some rain, but I expect that many of us will remain dry. The storm impact. For tomorrow, notice that we do not have a tornado threat at all. And again, the strongest of storms will really come in with a low threat for hail, for winds, and a low, and I mean very low, flooding risk out there tomorrow afternoon. How about the weekend? Already midway through the week? Not too early, start thinking about what's going to happen on Saturday. 92 degrees. I know a lot of us, as I'm driving through my neighborhood, I can tell that you know, we probably haven't mowed in a while with all the rainfall we've had lately. I think this weekend, mowing looking just fine out there. Nice outdoor weather. Keep your eye on the sky, however. I get the clouds dark, and you know what you got to do. Those winds are really going to start picking up, and you're going to notice that over the next couple of days 15 to 25 miles per hour for Saturday. Sunday, we don't have any rain in the forecast. Hot and dry. Outdoor plans are looking just fine, and a high temperature of 93 degrees. Degrees here. So, as we look at least what you can expect as we go into the next five plus five days, 20% chance of rain. We're in a very interesting weather pattern right now where we're getting ready to transition out of the spring pattern and going into a summer like weather pattern. So, 20% chance of rain for tomorrow. Friday, we're dry 90 degrees. We put another chance for some rain in there on Saturday, 92 degrees. Sunday, we are dry. Monday, we are dry. High of 93, 94 degrees. Notice how temperatures are beginning to climb. And then as we go into the next five days here, Tuesday, 20% chance for some storms out there, 94 degrees. And then as we head into the end of June, beginning of July, here we go. Temperatures begin that climb. As we go into Independence Day, highs in the mid 90s, lows in the mid 70s. And notice how as we go into next week, July, our rain chances begin to really come to an end. And you're up to date with the latest first alert forecast.